So today, new project. We're gonna try doing something I've never done before, I don't know a whole lot about. Um, we're gonna try re-arching the front springs on Dippy here, the blue Jeep. Um, it's sitting pretty low and tired these days. The uh, old springs are flat. I've only got about an inch and a half uh, between the axle and the bump stop. Which I like how low it sits, it's stable um, and flex is good, but I need a little more clearance um, since we switched to these taller tires. We don't have a lot of room in there when it flexes. The bump stops hit right when the tire's squeaking right here, so I wanna try to get it up a little bit, get a little more ground clearance and uh, just level it out. The back sits up a little bit. Uh, we added the winch and the engine and all the accessories and it's, it's just tired. So rather than buying uh, some stupid uh, Omex springs that will probably go flat anyway, I thought before we do that, we'll give it a try. Um, I'm going to see if I can use my Harbor Freight uh, pipe bender. We're gonna set up one of the dies, maybe add a couple things onto it and try to uh, do it with that. So I've watched some videos on YouTube, so now I'm a professional and we're gonna try it. I have a big press, but it's real slow and doesn't have a lot of range, so we're gonna try the pipe bender. You ready? Let's do it. There it is. We got the spring out. So now we're gonna kind of take some measurements and uh, get ready to take it apart to arch it. So one thing good about having a garage floor that I don't really care about. We're gonna get our profile for the spring like this. front of the vehicle and now we can see what we've gained I'll measure it as well um, we have to disassemble the whole pack and arch each leaf one at a time so first spring is disassembled so now we're gonna go through one at a time and uh, set up the bender um, and go in four inch increments um, so we're just gonna go a little bit, put it back together, and see what we come up with. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, taking the spring and going about every four or five inches. Kind of limited on the width of the pins and the die in here, but I really, I didn't add anything. Um, let me show you. Whoops, we'll, we'll edit I, that out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is pretty much the exact width of the spring and it gives it a bit of a round contour instead of a sharp point. Um, then I just, I removed the roller dies. I'm just going straight on the pin. So here's the second leaf in the pack. You can see it's got a tiny bit of arch in it. It's kind of flat. So let's put it in the press and see what happens. So now you can tell it's got quite an arch in it and I'm not getting it perfect. So I'll, I'll put it back in and push it the other way to try to get an even bend, but I'm doing it every few inches so I don't get any kinks. It's pretty, as you can see, it's pretty smooth bend to it. Also, I avoid, don't put the press right here. This is a spot where it will get a fold instead of a bend. So I don't do it near the spring pin hole so just avoid that but it's working so we'll see when we get it all back together and get some weight on it as far as how um, extreme we went I don't really know I've never done this before so I'm done arching all the leaves now we're gonna uh, clamp it all together and get the pin in it and uh, try to drive these um, 
spring keepers back into place if they break. There it is. So that's the outline before and after. It's a pretty big difference. So I'm hoping I didn't go too far. Um, it didn't seem like much, and I'm hoping. I'm guessing it's going to flatten out when I stood on it. It uh, definitely calmed down, but so there it is. The driver's side is done, and we got exactly two inches. So. Um, I think that'll settle down, but hopefully we end up <clears throat> somewhere between inch and an inch and a half higher than we were before. Uh, it's crooked right now because I didn't do the passenger side yet. But I started out with 33 inches from the floor to the fender, and now we are right at 35. So um, I did jump on it quite a bit, and I jacked it up on that side. So hopefully. Uh, you know, it's a pretty good representation of where it's going to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. If I can do the same thing on the other side, um, I'll be pretty pleased. So uh, it took a couple hours, but it was free. And uh, I'm learning and uh, getting the results I want. So, so far, so good. We are done with the front. <laughs> All right, we're done. Done with the front, that is. Did both front springs. This side, we ended up uh, with more like a three and a half inch lift. I'm new to this, and I went a little extreme on this side, so we gotta try to equal it out to see if it would settle overnight. Uh, so I'll show you what I did to, to do that, just with what I had in the shop. Thanks, Jonathan, for the ballast weight, um, but that didn't work. As soon as I took the weight off, it went back up, so I know uh, it's going to settle, but I want it to be level so that uh, trying to smash it down didn't work. So we're going to have to go a little more in depth with that. So um, then we're going to do the rear springs. And if you guys would like to see a video on that, comment in the comments below and tell me you'd like to see that video. We'll do another one of part two of this uh, project. Um, yeah, so other than that, we're done for now. It's cold out here. I'm going in. Um, please be sure to share this video and um, like and if you want if you like the Jeep tech stuff um, subscribe and I'm gonna try to keep putting out more videos um, like that so I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time